Hey boys and bears, it's Dan, and today I'm going to be covering a actually a Scream King. Um, this is one Jeff Dylan Graham. He's a cutie. Jeff Dylan Graham, very cute. So Jeff Dylan Graham has actually been doing uh, horror for like over a decade. Uh, he all throughout the early 2000s and stuff. He's done a lot of movies, so I have to go through a pile that I have. There's he does even more. I don't have all of them, but I'm going through the ones I have. So I'm going to start with the two that. Basically, um, he's listed as being in them, and I've watched them, and I don't know where he is. I've never seen him in them. So we have Brian Loves You. So Brian Loves You, don't think, I don't know where Jeff is in it. But, it, you know, it has Brink Stevens, Lloyd Kaufman, uh, Tony Todd, and, like, little cameos. And it's basically a found footage movie about um, a guy who thinks that his town is being taken over by a religious cult who loves Brian. So um, that's how I'm not going to cover these a lot because... Uh, He's not, you know, Jeff isn't in them. Stuck is a prison, a woman's prison movie, sort of. It, it's not an exploitation. It's no reform schoolgirls or anything like that. Karen Black is in it. Um, she's not in the prison. She's outside the prison. She has a whole kind of separate storyline. Um, Jane Wheedland from Go-Go's makes an appearance. Filmed in black and white. It's a downer of a movie. It's not a, um, it's not a exploitation film. So now I'm going to get to Jeff's um, movies that he's in. So we're going to start with Cremains. Now, Jeff uh, has worked quite a few times with a director named Steve Sessions. So Steve does like a lot of low-budget indie horror stuff. So Cremains is a horror anthology. And some of the stories are better than others, as usual. That's always the case. Um, so let's see what's in this one. Um, so the first story is about a woman who's driving at night and she keeps getting stopped by guys on the side of the road who say there was a, a theft, uh, a robbery, and... Um, but it turns out there's more than that because they're basically harassing her. But the second story is the one that Jeff is in. And this one, there's something kind of homoerotic about it because there's this hot bald guy with a goatee who picks Jeff up, right? Like kind of hitchhiking thing. And keeps telling him, I don't usually do this. I don't usually pick up strangers. But it keeps like eyeing them all like oddly and stuff. So it looks kind of, it looks, seems really homoerotic, but it's not. Um, it's This is a really twisted little ending. It's like little, uh, it's a little um, controversial, the ending of... of what's going on. So that's the second story. That's the one with Jeff in it. And then the third story is Lesbian Vampires. And uh, the fourth story is really good. I mean, Jeff's not in it, but it's just like a slasher with this creepy killer guy. That's my favorite story in Crimeans. So then we go on to Malefic. Uh, Malefic is um, another Steve Session film. It's filmed in black and white. It kind of um, seems to be an homage to Evil Dead. Sort of. Uh, has like the camera coming up to the cabin and stuff. So Jeff is one of the is a young goth guy, and he and this dominatrix and two other guys, they kidnap a baby, but it's a dead baby. It's a baby's body, and they're going to ransom it back to this man. So, it turns out that there's something evil living in the cabin. Are you shocked? And um, it turns out it's like this big maggot monster. So, it's very low budget. It's filmed in black and white, like I said. And um, Jeff ends up being like the leading man in the movie. So, that's a good one to see Jeff in. And then he's also in... Hellbound, Book of the Dead. Hellbound is another Steve Sessions film. This one I really, really like because it's uh, this Jeff and his girlfriend, like or his wife, I don't remember. Um, she, her sister died really mysteriously, like an accident. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't mysterious. It was just weird accident, accident. So um, she wants to bring her back to life because she has these books that she can cast a spell. So she casts a spell and she doesn't bring back the sister. She brings back something else. So um, the ending, you know, stuff goes on in the movie. It's got, it's got like it's kind of the monkey's paw thing. It kind of has pet cemetery feel to it. And then at the end, there's this creepy thing chasing Jeff. This back from the dead guy chasing Jeff totally reminds me of like all the 70s horror movies that really creep me out I really like that one and then we have um, Dead Clowns now Dead Clowns is another Steve Sessions film and it's killer zombies clowns I mean you know you can't go wrong with zombies you can't go wrong with clowns so um, but actually this movie kind of it is actually kind of slow Dead Clowns it could have been trimmed a bit but it has a kind of a um, the feel of the fog, because there's a backstory as to these clowns falling into the, um, they were on a train, and it fell off a bridge, and was it, they were in the water, and nobody ever went out to, you know, pull the bodies back up, so now the zombies come back. And Jeff in this one plays a security guard, uh, Debbie Rashan is one of the characters, but it's all these people in this small town, and all their, you know, b split up stories of how they deal with this, these clowns that are chasing them. So the gore and stuff is good, but the movie's kind of slow and it doesn't really feel cohesive, all the stories. So that's that one. So now we have Jeff in Dead and Rotting. Dead and Rotting is a fun little story. This could have been edited down too, but um, this is like old school, like, uh, 
shot to VHS type uh, shot to video uh, movies, and I kind of like that stuff. So there's this scary, scary witch in the woods. So these three guys decide they're going to go check out her scary house. Then they have this fight with this with her son, her weird looking inbred son type thing, and the witch wants to get revenge. So she comes back as the beautiful Debbie Rashawn, and she, Debbie goes in and screws all these guys. Now the lead guy is so freaking hot, so hot, he's got a tight body, so the director makes sure that he's like in his underwear like through half the movie. So Debbie brings back like these scarecrow monster things to go after them. This is fun, and then Jeff ends up coming into the story later on, and he's pretty much one of the lead characters alongside the cute hottie guy. So that's another one I like. Um, Zombageddon, this is trauma. Um, Jeff is one of the lead characters at the college that gets taken over by zombies. Lloyd Kaufman plays like this homophobic um, janitor guy who's more afraid of gays than he is of zombies. Um, and, you know, it's typical trauma stuff. It's silly. There's a cop who, like, this big burly cop who likes to uh, pull young guys over and uh, make them do, like, kiss each other and stuff. And then he, like, jacks off into their car window with his nightstick. Um, so that's, you know, that's trauma. October Moon, this is Jeff playing gay. Um, this is basically a single white female with a, um, with a gay twist, but the guy who's being stalked isn't single. He's Jeff's boyfriend. So he hires this new guy. The new guy is hot for him. But he's messed up. He thinks he, he's supposed to be straight. His mother is played by Judith O'Day from Night of the Living Dead. And um, he's supposed to be straight. He's supposed to be getting married. And then he falls for Jeff's boyfriend and starts stalking. So there's another one. Oh, here's another clown movie. Here's Jeff in 100 Tears. 100 Tears is kind of funny and kind of torture porn. This clown, this is one of the scariest clown movies. I mean, this is like kind of hardcore, trashy, crazy stuff. Um, the clown puts on clown makeup. There's no mask here. He's, he's a real clown. He's a big, big guy, and he brings up this, like, cleaver axe thing that's huge. The gore is great. There's all kinds of crazy stuff going on, and so Jeff is in that one, too. Um, Jeff is in Richard Griffin. See, Jeff works with a lot of, like, gay directors and stuff. Um... Richard Griffin's um, Beyond the Dunwich Horror. Um, Jeff is one of the main characters in that. That's like kind of H.P. Lovecraft. It's a more serious um, Richard Griffin movie, but there's gay sex in it and stuff. So I've talked about that one before on my blog in more detail. Theater Bazaar, that's another anthology. Um, Jeff appears in a story. It's really a gross-out story about people who, like, basically get turned on by eating, like, disgustingly. Like, eating so much that they love to eat so much that they, like, will puke it up and then eat that because they don't want to waste it. Ugh, it's nasty. But, um, then I've talked about Bloody Bloody Bible Camp. This is another one. This has got, a, like, a gay gender-bending twist to it. Um, Ron Jeremy's in it. Uh, gay director Tim Sullivan's in it. And it's super gory. It's campy. It's camp movie. Um, I've talked about this one before. I'm not going to go into it. Jeff's in this one, too. Sculpture, I've talked about this one before. This is basically the movie Pieces, but this time it's a, a female sculptor, played by Rain Brown, and um, she needs to make the perfect man. So she goes to the local gym and starts getting the pieces for a perfect man. Plenty of naked guys in that one. Then this is Homesick. Jeff works with a lot of good people. So Tiffany Sheppis is in this, Bill Mosley. Um, it's basically, Bill comes to this Christmas party, and um, he w get, Grant tells everybody to tell him who they hate, and each person gives a name, and one of the dudes says that he hates everybody in the room. So then this monster starts to basically um, stalk them. It's like a slasher movie. It's really gory. It's really confusing in the middle. It's kind of weird, but um, Jeff's only in the opening scene. He's uh, it's, he's like in a in a like a you know, edgy scene where he's watching two lesbians, then one leaves and he asks the other one if she wants to do water sports with him. So he's only in that opening scene. Um, and then this is the final movie with Jeff in it, um, Dorm of the Dead. He's only in the last scene. Um, and this one also has T Tiffany Shepis in it. She's only in the beginning. And she, her scene is my favorite scene in the whole movie. Uh, it's the best part, zombie action. She, um, then she's not pretty much not in the movie after that. Um, I don't love it as a zombie movie. I love Tiffany's beginning scene. And then Jeff um, appears in a weird scene during the credits that he's talking to this girl who's really, you can tell she's really hot for him. So she's talking to him, but all he's talking about and about is like teabagging and like loving to have balls on his um, forehead. So <laughs> it's kind of weird. But that's the only scene he appears in in that movie. So that's um, Jeff Dylan Graham. Tons of movies. I don't have them all. There's some I want to see. There's some he's directed a new one. Um... So, check that cute face out. I'll post a picture of him on um, Boys, Bears, and Scares, and I'll post my blog. I made a huge blog about all these movies. So, that's it, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.